We are getting a sneak peek inside a new exhibit in Nina this morning. It has come just in time to help honor the 10th anniversary of 9-11. Angela Kelly joins us live from Nina with more. Hi, Angela. Hi, good morning, Rachel. Well, we're learning more about George Edwin Bergstrom. He was from Nina, and he was actually um, assigned by the, by the Army. He was asked by the War Department to design and oversee the construction of the Pentagon. It's an incredible story, and you can learn that story by walking around the Hiram Smith Octagon House here in Nina, because that's where that new exhibit is. Now, of course, um, they have you know the image of that day, September 11, 2001, when the planes hit, when the plane, rather, hit the Pentagon. Um, but there's also a lot of other things to learn about the Pentagon. This is David Dexter with the Nina Historical Society. Good morning. Good morning. Can you tell us what the image behind you is showing us? Sure. I think most people don't realize how large the Pentagon building actually is. So it was 921 feet on a side. So we, re we superimposed the perimeter of the Pentagon over downtown, over a map of downtown Nina. And you can see it stretches from the library over to the, the tower buildings downtown and from the the, uh, the dam in the river all the way over to the Boys and Girls Brigade it includes City Hall, includes the uh, Holiday Inn River Walk, um, and it's I think it's, uh, it covers 29 acres worth of land. Yeah, it's, so it's a huge building. It's huge, and uh, there's some really neat um, sort of facts and figures. Mm -hmm. um, things like there are 150 stairways, uh, 85,000 light fixtures, more than 7,000 windows inside of the Pentagon. And it's kind of interesting, the cost, um, what it was and what it would be today. Sure, yeah, in, in today's, well, it cost $85 million for the building and all the, the highways and bridges that they needed to connect to, to Washington, D.C. That would translate into $925 million today. The building has been renovated the course of the last 13 years, the renovation costs $5 billion. Wow, yeah, that's so a big quite difference. A uh, there's more to learn about the Pentagon here in Nina. This is Jane Lang with the Nina Historical Society. Tell us about the book you're holding and how people can uh, meet the author. Sure, we're just so excited to be having Steve Vogel come. Um, he is an author. He authored this book, The Pentagon, A History, The Untold Story of the Wartime Race to Build the Pentagon and to Restore It 60 Years Later. And he is a Washington Post correspondent, and he's also been up for a Pulitzer Prize for journalism. And he's coming to speak where and when? He is coming on September 22nd, 7 p.m., and he'll be speaking at the Boys and Girls Brigade. That is incredible, and you can bet George Edwin Bergstrom is mentioned in that book. Real quickly, before we go, I'd like to introduce you to Kyle. He spent a lot of time researching George Edwin Bergstrom because he actually created a lot of other buildings across the country. Can you tell us real briefly what's in this area of the exhibit? I'm um, sure. This is uh, focuses on his early career, his one lone building, the Valley Inn uh, in Nina, and some of his buildings in uh, Los Angeles, such as uh, the LA County Courthouse and the LA County General Hospital, and as well as the Pasadena Civic Center. Okay, very interesting stuff. So in, in honor of September 11th, or, or if you're just interested, you can come and learn more about his role in the Pentagon, but in other noteworthy buildings as well. Rachel? It's so cool. Thanks, Angela.